Good evening, everyone. On behalf of Access Capital, I welcome you all to the I mean, Upsource fourth quarter conference call. We have with us today Mr. Gopal Krishnan, CFO, Mr. Srinivasan, Senior Vice President, and Mr. Ravi Kanan, DGM. The call will begin with a brief management discussion and uh, will be followed by a Q&A session. I will now hand over the floor to Mr. Gopal Krishnan. How do you, sir? Good afternoon, everybody. I welcome you all to the fourth quarter uh, earnings call of Pan Offshore Limited. In USD terms, our revenue was marginally lower, while EBITDA was almost flat quarter on quarter. Uh, this year, we have also implied the goodwill and some of the risk values, which were reflected in the uh, net loss. In terms of risk contracts, we have secured two new contracts of, of four months each for DD3 in Vietnam, about eight in Malaysia. DD3 will also come, the, the, uh, the contract in May, and about eight will commence in July. DD8 also got a two-month job getting over in June. Aban 3 and Aban 4, which were working in India, completed their three-year contracts. DD4 also has just completed the short-term job, and uh, we, it's back to Dubai. Uh, what, please ask any questions you have. We'll now take questions. Mr. Srinivasan will be answering. Thank you very much, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on their touchdown telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and 2. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Thank you. Participants, if you wish to ask a question, please press star and one at this time. The first question is from the line of Manika Shetty KS and individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, I would like to know about the probable tenders which we have submitted, the company has submitted, what is the hopes of getting any tenders passed or getting any uh, work for the assets? Sir, uh, see, uh, thank you for your question. Uh, basically, I think, uh, see, because of uh, uh, confidentiality involved in the tenders, uh, so I think, you know, we won't be able to share the names, but uh, there are at least Three, four leads, you know, for a fairly long-term contract which we have submitted. Mm -hmm. uh, you will be able to announce it only when we get the results. That's true. Okay. okay. We just wanted to know. We don't want yeah. the names of the company. Yeah, yeah. At okay. least three How or four long-term leads. Long-term you have submitted, I mean, pending. Long-term meaning, I'm, what I'm saying is minimum of two years and above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And... Um, uh, any short-term, uh, can you tell any? Yeah, short-term opportunities we are getting on a continuous basis. Uh, yeah. As you may observe, the RIC DD6 started with Dubai Petroleum in uh, March of last year, 2017, uh -huh. initially on a two-month job. Uh -huh. I'm happy to inform you that it's still working, you know, like uh, uh, current charter is there till June. So basically uh -huh. making it as a 15-month job, we hope that we will get some more extension in this. So, always know this is a short term, and as Mr. Kopal Gishan mentioned, we have got a short term job for DD8 in uh, India, this is already ongoing for two months, then DD3 in uh, Vietnam for four months, uh -huh. and uh, Aban 8 in Malaysia for four months, uh -huh. and uh, DD4 completed a nearly four month job in India from January to May. Uh -huh. So, we are getting a lot of uh, short term opportunities. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Even in the last uh, call, we announced, you know, uh, several short-term contracts. Yeah, yeah. Rigs uh, details. 
Out of eight, how many right. are? Uh, two we years. Have, we have, yeah, in the Indian company, we have seven rigs totally. Out of which uh, Aban two and Aban eyes are working, both for ONGC. Uh -huh. uh, the remaining five rigs are idle. Uh -huh. Okay. In Singapore, we have uh, rig Aban Abraham working for ONGC. Uh -huh. uh, rig DD two working in uh, Iran. Uh, the DD three is working in Vietnam. Oh. DD five working in Shell Brunei. Oh. DD six the Dubai Petroleum in Dubai. DD eight uh, with HOEZ in India. Okay. And we have a contract for Aman eight which is starting in July. So that's about nine rigs are working for us. Hmm. So uh, so five rigs of the Indian company and four of the Singapore company are right. Any progress regarding recovery from Iran receivable? I think uh, they have. There has not been any big progress in uh, the last quarter. Of course, we got some trickle payments, but uh, nothing substantial. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> any better future for uh, performance? Yeah. Basically, in terms of operational performance, uh, we expect. Uh, uh, to do better because uh, uh, some of these tenders, you know, which uh, we have participated some time back, we expect the results to come out uh, quite soon. Okay. And as you know, the oil price increase is also uh, stimulating some of the demand for rigs. Okay. So with this, you know, at operational level, we expect uh, that you know, like, uh, it will be better in the next year, that is FY19. In fact, to ONGC may be awarding the same quantity of contracts this year also. That's why I wanted to know the tenders. Yeah, uh, see, as you know, ONGC, you know, we completed the contracts for Aban 3 and Aban 4 sometime in March and early April. Oh. But uh, they have still not called out for replacement tenders. Achha. So, of course, there was another tender in which we have participated, but uh, it was not for replacing these two rigs. So, because you no, know, like because of this, we are not sure whether you no, know, like with ONGC, whether we are same business. But we are looking at company as a overall, you no, know, whether it's from ONGC or even outside ONGC. Outside any chances? Outside. Yeah, that's what I mentioned. You know, there are about uh, yeah, three or four uh, long-term leads. Of which only one is ONGC, the remaining are uh, outside ONGC only. Oh, I see. Achha. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Reminder to all the participants, if you wish to ask a question, you may press star and one on your touchdown telephone. The next question is from the line of Shailesh Parohit, an individual investor. Please go ahead. I have seen in the new news the urban officer is the lowest 1800 crore. Is it true? Yeah, yeah. because see, uh, the loss, no, we have taken some impairment of goodwill hmm. uh, because you now the day rates have come down. So there is a possibility that you no, know, the goodwill may not be recovered. That's why you know, we have taken an impairment of goodwill. Uh, plus, you no, know, there is some impairment of some of the rigs, you know, which are uh, uh, idle. You no, know, the, the thing, you no, know, like these two have contributed uh, uh, to the loss. Uh, so that is the case. You know, like yes, the quarterly loss is about 1,800 crores, which includes these impairment to the extent of uh, about 1,257 crores. So without these impairments, you no, know, like uh, it will be about 543 crores. And uh, I am uh, I am the investor of the Aban offshore, and I have the 5,000 uh, equity uh, number of shares. So here is uh, any chances to move into some recovery? Because the company, as, as I mentioned, you know, for the to the previous queries, you know, like I was mentioning about uh, the outlook for the company. So since the oil price is recovered, no, there is. Uh, we hope that we'll be able to deploy some more rigs. No, I, I am uh, talking about uh, future uh, contract and future uh, order of the 
Only yeah, yeah, that's right. No, the future orders. As of now, we have uh, contracts for nine breaks, and uh, we have participated in some tenders, uh, which you know, if uh, some positive decision is taken, so we will be able to deploy some more rigs. Mr. Purohit, uh, do you have okay. any more further questions? Okay, no. Thank you. Reminder to all the participants, if you wish to ask a question, you may press star and one on your touchstone telephone. The next question is from the line of uh, Mani Kantagari from Access Capital. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, sir. I just want to check with you on uh, the 400 million debt raising as well as the 2,500 crores to QAP that has been mentioned in the release. Uh, what are the timelines for this? And uh, no, these are basically these are enabling approvals which we take every year. For the last several years, we have been taking these uh, because no, it's otherwise no like you require a special AGM, I mean EGM, and all that to pass these resolutions. So, for the sake of convenience, no, we are taking these enabling approvals. So nothing is finalized as of now. Okay. Understood. Yeah. And uh, in terms of uh, the consolidated balance sheet, uh, debt has been moved from uh, the long-term portion of borrowings to current liabilities. Uh, yeah, that's mainly because, you know, like uh, since uh, uh, we are in uh, default, so these are to be treated as current liabilities, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Understood, sir. A technical and point. Sure, sir. And um, one last question. Uh, are, there, are there any new regions that you're looking at uh, apart from uh, Iran or uh, Saudi and no, India? No, because we are looking at uh, Middle East, you know, all the countries in the Middle East, not only Iran. See, some of the countries, if you look at it, you know, like UAE, we didn't have a presence earlier. So we have uh, secured this Dubai Petroleum contract uh, for the last 15 months. So similarly, we are looking at other countries in the Middle East region, and of course we are uh, active in India and uh, Southeast Asia. Uh, but uh, per se, we are not looking at any particular region or new region as such. Of course, we are present in all the oil, almost all the oil-producing countries, you know, where uh, rigs can be deployed. Sure, sir. And you can give your view on uh, the rig day rates for the next six months to one year. Uh, how are they in your uh, recent contracts? And See, there are about uh, 100 rigs, you know, jack-up rigs, which are idle. So till these uh, rigs, you know, like uh, get the job, uh, only after at least you know, 80 of these rigs get job, then only you will see a day rate uptick here. Uh, and how about your rig contract, sir? Like uh, short term contract? Yeah, basically, I think to, for competitive reasons, we are not sharing the day rates. Sure, sir. No problem. Yeah. Right. That's all, sir. Thank you. Reminder to all the participants if you wish to ask a question, you may press star and one on your touchdown telephone. The next question is from the line of Vinod Dixit from Shillong's Consultancy. Please go ahead. Uh, Good evening, sir. I just wanted to know, like, uh, when do you see the company turning around? You have given us an indication of, you know, how things could turn out in FI19, uh, like your plans for uh, deployment of the rigs uh, and, you know, the uptick, you know, the uptick that you envisage in uh, the forthcoming year. So when do you think the, uh, you know, the company could turn around, uh, turn around? Because, you know, it is dealing with a debt of about 12,000 crores. And now there is also, you know, this auditor's report that I'm just going through that, you know, that it has been reclassified, as you yourself mentioned, that it has been reclassified as a current liability now. So, yeah. when so basically, I think uh, for that uh, turnaround, no, like uh, we need to have uh, some correction in the capital structure. Yeah. yeah. And oil price, no, like the demand uh, should Correct. move significantly ahead. Yeah. So we are working on it, yeah. Yeah, and, and any plans uh, from the promoters to infuse additional capital to just to uh, rejig the capital structure and to make the debt equity look uh, much more palatable and much sure, more reliable? There, there are no plans at the moment, yeah. 
Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Reminder to the participants, if you have a question, please press star and one at this time. Participants, if you wish to ask a question, you may press star and one. As there are no further questions from the participants, I now hand the conference over to the management for their closing comments. Over to you, sir. Yeah. Uh, so we thank uh, Access Capital and uh, the moderator and all the participants for taking their time off and uh, participating in this call. Thank you. All the best.